Hello, how are you? Nice to see you. What's up, Hi, nice to see you. Good. Celebrating, this is our 30th anniversary season. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's an institution unto itself. It extra. Really I watch it all the time. Academy Award winner, Robert Downey Jr. Right. Has it set in yet? I mean, in so much as that it, it's nice to have one, but it's not really whatever motivated me. I think it was great. It was really fun for us to have that season and dress up and do all that uh, while we're still relatively young. Yeah, but I also think it was wonderful to see you back in a role like that, and I think okay. it also positioned you perfectly to take on this crazy set of roles. Yeah. It was a fun back-to-back -back going from uh, Louis Strauss to all these knuckleheads. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah. uh, the kids helped you with the transformation. We saw that on the, online. Yeah, they seemed anxious to shave my dome. Um, there's something really cathartic about shaving your head and or shaving someone's head. Mm -hmm. And then our daughter, Avery, was a big Stranger Things fan, and she actually gave herself a buzz cut at one point, too. So... I don't know what to say about all this. <laughs> you were also an executive producer on this. Yeah. What's it like managing this guy? Oh, you don't manage him. That's the first lesson. No, no, no. You take all the grid energy and you just sort of corral it, which is very different than managing. No, it's a lot of fun. training chains you put on puppies? You can't call them choke chains anymore because that's not appropriate. I think they're called training chains. No, no, no. We we actually love working together or we, we wouldn't do. be doing it. It's yeah. the best way to do something. This is our weird, I mean, this is so crazy. All of us here, even just here tonight, this is what we do. This yeah. is our odd life. And, uh, you know, we're in the service industry of providing entertainment. And uh, we love it. We're grateful it. for it. Yep. What do you hope that people take away from the series? I think it's such an interesting point of history globally but i think the american perspective has always been a little too tilted to the west and this is a real mind bender uh viet wrote an amazing you know he's pulitzer prize winning author and um I, I think people will feel like they get a perspective shift on that period in time and the way that we've always considered america's role in some of these foreign affairs but also it's really a quintessentially vietnamese story about their own sense of their own their own country, their own challenges, their own conflicts, their own resolutions. So, first time we're seeing you back on TV since Ally McBeal. Mike. Why now? Because uh, I love the story, and also the boss said that this would be good, yeah. and I, I take direction. <laughs> Where's the Oscar? Um. Oh my God, you don't have it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll babysit it for you. It's gonna make the rounds. Trust me. Yeah.